Hello everyone, my name is Lim Chiu Ting and I'm the pharmacy student from Institute of Health Science, University Brunei Darussalam. Today, I would like to share a few knowledge on common productive cough, which also known as wet cough. In this video, I will cover introduction on cough, difference between non-productive and productive cough, causes, symptoms, prevention, over-the-counter medicine for productive cough, and share some lifestyle advices. At the end of this video, I will ask few questions regarding what I have shared in this video to increase your understanding regarding the productive cough. Cough is a common cold symptom. Sometimes it is a natural reaction to an airway irritant and can also be the body attempt to remove a foreign object or mucus. Cough is an important natural defense mechanism of our respiratory tract. It can be a warning sign of several respiratory and non-respiratory diseases. When irritants such as dust, allergen, pollution, or smoke enter our airway, the sensors send a message to our brain and our brain is alerted to their presence. Our brain then sends a message to the muscle in our chest and abdomen. When this muscle contract, rapidly contract, it push a burst of air out through your respiratory system. In short, it causes coughing. This burst of air help push out harmful irritant. When you're fighting off an infection like flu, your body produces more mucus than usual. It does this to help trap and expel the organism causing infection. Coughing helps you get rid of all excess mucus that gets stuck in your lung and chest. There are two different cough that we need to be aware of. One is non-productive. The second one is productive. Non-productive cough, also known as dry cough, is the one that does not bring any mucus, sputum, or phlegm. This is usually caused by irritation in the throat, which people describe the irritation as tickling or scratchy sensation. It can also be a symptom of cold or due to conditions such as asthma or bronchitis. But for this video, I will focus and share more information on common productive cough. Productive cough is a cough that brings up mucus or phlegm or sputum. It can also be referred as wet cough or chesty cough. The causes of productive cough are most often from infection by microorganisms such as bacteria or viruses like those that, cold, that cause cold and flu. But if your cough is productive, lasts more than few weeks and involves fever, greenish yellow phlegm and shortness of breath, it may be due to a lung infection. If your productive cough has been going on for more than a few weeks, it could be caused by bronchitis, pneumonia, COPD or cystic fibrosis. Productive cough usually worse when at night or when waking up from sleep because mucus collect at the back of your throat when you lie down. This further, this further trigger your cough reflex and it may be the last symptom left after a common cold infection. Symptom of acute viral cough consists of associated with other cold symptoms, sudden onset, usually more troublesome in the evening, duration usually between 7 and 10 days, possibly up to 2 weeks, and the sputum, and or, sputum or phlegm is clear and colorless. When you have symptoms such as yellow, green, pink, or bloody sputum, have high temperature, or fever, shortness of breath, or wheezy, cough is mainly at night, you have chest pain when coughing, the cough lasts two weeks or more and not improving, the cough affects an infant or children under five years old, then you might need to seek help from doctor for more accurate diagnosis. Today, I'm going to share one cough syrup that can be obtained at retail pharmacy easily for common productive cough. 
5% carbocysteine granotile adult, adult syrup. This medicine can be obtained without prescription. You can get it easily in the retail pharmacy. What is it for? This cup syrup contains carbocysteine, which is a mucolytic agent that reduces the viscosity of mucus. It is effective for those who have difficulty in coughing up phlegm. This syrup can only be taken by adults with age 15 years old and above. Before you taking, before you take Renatal 5% adult expectorant syrup, make sure that you don't have history of allergy to any of the ingredients. If you are unsure, you can ask your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Make sure that you did not take any cough any cough suppressant that intended to calm coughing. Consult your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking any other medicine. If you are pregnant, consult your doctor or pharmacist before taking this medicine. And the last one, this cough syrup contains sucrose, which is a sugar that might need to consider if you are a diabetic patient. So please consult with your doctor before deciding to take this medicine. How to take rhinotile 5% adult expectorant syrup? As mentioned before, do not give this medicine to children less than 15 years. How much rhinotile 5% adult expectorant syrup should be taken? For use in adult only, one measuring cup in the morning, one in the one at midday, and one in the evening. Not during meal time without exceeding three measuring cups per day. One 15 ml measuring cup contains 750 mg of carbocysteine. How rhinotile 5% adult expectorant syrup should be taken? This cough syrup is to be swallowed orally. And please make sure that you rinse the cup well after use and close the bottle tightly after use. How long rhinotile 5% adult expectorant syrup should be taken? The treatment, the treatment duration should be short. Do not exceed 5 days of treatment without consulting your doctor. If you take more rhinotile 5% adult expectorant syrup than you should, then you need to stop the treatment and consult your doctor or pharmacist immediately. If you forget to take Rhinotal 5% Adult Expectorant Syrup, do not take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. How to store the Rhinotal 5% Adult Expectorant Syrup? Keep out of the reach and sight of children. Number two, do not take Rhinotal 5% Adult Expectorant Syrup after the expired date printed on the pack. Number three, store below 25 degrees Celsius. And the last one, medicine should not be disposed of by your wastewater or with household waste. Household waste. Ask your pharmacist how to dispose of unused medicine and this will help to protect the environment. So I would like to share a few preventative measures for cough, such as number one, quit smoking. Because smoking is a high is a common contributor to a chronic cough. Number two, dietary changes. Eat more fruit, high fiber fruit such as banana, oranges, green leaf, vegetable, and high fiber fruit such as citrus, apple, berries, and or spinach. Number three, avoid in contact with anyone with a contagious illness such as bronchitis to avoid coming in contact with the germ. And the last one is wash your hand regularly frequently. Do, don't share utensil, towel, or pillow with people who is having cough. Other treatment or and last and lifestyle advices. You can use steam inhalation to calm your cough. Maintain food intake to hydrate your lung. Elevate your head with extra pillow when sleeping. Gargle with warm salt water regularly to remove, to remove mucus and soot your throat. Avoid irritants such as smoking and dust. Add honey or ginger to hot tea to relieve your cough and clear your airway. Now we reach the question and answer session. 
I will ask four questions and the answer will be revealed at the end of the video. You can click pause to read on the question. So the first question, what is the difference between non-productive calf and productive calf? Question number two, what is 5% carbocystine rhinotyl syrup for? Number three, how to take the 5% carbocystine rhinotyl syrup? Number four, when do you need to seek help from doctor? Okay, so now let's go through the answer together. For question one, what is the difference between non-productive calf and productive calf? Non-productive calf, also known as dry calf, which is one that does not bring up any mucus of phlegm or sputum. Productive calf is a calf that bring up mucus of phlegm or sputum. It can also be referred as wet calf or chesty calf. Question number two, what is 5% carbocystine rhinotyl syrup for? It is for productive calf. This calf syrup contains carbocystine, which is a mucolytic agent that reduces the viscosity of the mucus. It is effective for those who have difficulty in coughing up phlegm. This syrup can only be taken by adult with age 15 years old and above. Question number three, how to take the 5% carbocystine rhinotyl syrup? Do not give this syrup to children less than 15 years old. For use in adult only, one measuring cup in the morning, one at midday, one in the evening, not during meal time, without exceeding three measuring cups per day. One 15 ml measuring cup contains 750 mg of carbocystine. And the last question, when do you need to seek help from doctor? So when you have symptoms such as yellowish, green, pink, or bloody sputum, have high fever, high temperature or fever, shortness of breath or wheezy, the calf is mainly at night, you have chest pain when coughing, the calf lasting two weeks or more and not improving, the calf affect an infant or children under five years old, then you might need to seek help from doctor for more accurate diagnosis. So that's all for my video today. I hope that you learn new knowledge from this video and thank you very much for watching my video. See you in the next video.